Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries and our hunt for the jetpack in GTA 5. There is the Zancudo UFO. It looks a hell of a lot different than the ones found above Mount Chiliad and above the UFO hippie camp. This one obviously is completely different. It looks much more futuristic and perhaps there is more mysteries that lie behind the Zancudo UFO. My name is RJ and I am joined by C-Dub. What's up, Corey? I'm hanging out here, guys. I'm playing a little bit of GTA 5 myself online on the PS3. Looking forward to trying out some more stuff here with the jetpack, man. We will attempt to actually get on top of the Zancudo UFO. We have some information to share about it. Perhaps some things that maybe you guys have heard about, maybe not. Definitely some crazy stuff. I mean, let's be real. This UFO shines a light below it at exactly 3 o'clock. And right now, it is right after 3 o'clock, so now is the time to do it. And we also have to attempt to fly up into the core of it with the jet. We did that with the other UFO, of course, the one in Sandy Shores above the hippie camp. But after we did that, many people responded by saying that is not the true UFO to do that to. You have to do it to the Zancudo UFO because this one is very unique. It's a lot different than the others. And if there is one that is drivable, we certainly hope it is this one. So we'll go ahead and land on this thing. There are some things to look at on top of the UFO itself before we attempt to fly up into it a la Russ from Independence Day. Is that perhaps the secret to unlocking the jetpack or something else involving the UFO? We will find out on this episode. Now this is the first time we are showing off the Zancudo UFO here at Trippy Commentaries. Uh, there are two different ways you can get on. Both are very difficult. You can either parachute onto it or you can land your helicopter but both ways normally end in death. It'll either send you flying off or your vehicle will explode. We're gonna try our hardest to get on top of it. I will mention that recently people have used 3D modeling software to look inside of it and it is revealed that the Zancudo UFO has humanoid pilots. So that might be proof that it is another uh, government vehicle just like the others which have FIB on top of it. But who knows, it's pretty crazy. It makes some eerie sound effects. Let's see if we can get on top. All right, we have made it on top of the UFO C-Dub. This thing is pretty crazy, man. What can you say about it? Uh, well, I mean, we can see like a little window in there, but you can't really see into it or anything as far as I can tell. Um, I mean, this thing looks pretty wild, man. I mean. Just landing on it really makes me want to be able to drive the damn thing. Yeah. Now, it's funny you mention that because on the UV map, the special edition map, it says take control at Fort Zancudo. Now, a lot of people have taken that to mean to take control of the fort itself or maybe something to do with the control tower. But I think it means take control of the UFO. Maybe it means that this is the one we can take control of. I am hitting the Y button, just so you guys know, the button that would make you steal other people's vehicles or just hop in any drivable vehicle it is not working on this ufo also on the side of it it says segregate and rearrange i believe which you can rearrange the letters which will make easter egg that is probably proof that this is as it says it right there that this is a military vehicle you know combined with the humanoid pilots there it says segregate and rearrange right there it probably is letting us know that this is some type of military experiment, but man, it looks so crazy, the, fa the fact that it has these sound effects. And uh, you might have noticed that there are a lot of shapes just like this UFO found around San Andreas. So that's probably a sign that this is the UFO that we need to concentrate on, uh, seen as the other ones seem to be the generic UFO of GTA 5, including the one that can be found underwater. So, uh, yeah, Corey, I know uh, you've been a huge GTA fan. What did you first think when you heard that the Easter egg found in 
GTA 5 was flying UFOs, man. That had to be pretty shocking for you. Most definitely, man. Uh, the first thing that it made me think was, sweet, there's going to be a way to drive the UFO. Um, of course, we haven't seen that yet, but uh, it certainly uh, could be something that we have coming up. Uh, of course, we've got the big next-gen release coming up, which a lot of people think that maybe uh, a UFO or a jetpack could be a next-gen only kind of exclusive. But, man, i got to say I don't think Rockstar is going to do that to us. Hopefully, uh, maybe it could be the fact that we have to wait until that next-gen release and at that point, once our story is complete, as the mural says, maybe then, and only then, can we get the jetpack in Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, whether or not that's the case, we're definitely trying out everything we can here. Uh, some pretty pretty trippy looking uh, glitches causing you to fall off here on the <laughs> UFO. But uh, yeah, we're definitely you know, uh, inspecting everything we can quite thoroughly. Of course, uh, RJ is here on the Xbox 360, and I'm over on the PS3 covering everything we can. That's for sure, guys. Let us know what you think about the UFO here at Fort Zancudo. It's pretty crazy, man. I know we keep saying that, but it truly is. It's, it's really a well-designed uh, UFO. I remember the first time I saw it, it was just creepy in a way. It was almost scary, and uh, they did a great job with it. If we can drive it, that would be the ultimate. And perhaps there is something to unlock, especially when it comes to the jetpack. It would be pretty epic if that's what's holding it. All right, guys, we will meet you in the skies as we attempt to fly the jet straight up into the Zancudo UFO. Hopefully we can pull this off.